What's up everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. If you're watching this on YouTube, click that subscribe button and bell notification to 10x your career in web design and development. In 2019, there are a lot of video creators on YouTube who give wide net advice about YouTube. Though I am a small creator at the time of this recording, I want to provide specific advice out there to up and coming designers and developers on how they can use YouTube to boost their career. Let's dive in. YouTube is a platform that continues to change, evolve away from its initial roots. What started as something intended for the little guy giving everyone a voice, its focus is now on becoming a conglomerate competing against the likes of Facebook, Netflix, and any other brand vying for audience attention. Despite this focus, I still think that YouTube is a wonderful tool for people in the tech industry to build their careers. So if you're a web designer and developer, you are in a prime position to demonstrate your expertise to the world with the power of YouTube. The question now is, what kind of content do I make? And how is YouTube going to help me get a job and build my career? These are valid questions and the good news is, is that they are also easy questions. To answer the first question, I'm going to provide several suggestions. The first type of content you can focus on making is tutorial-based content. Now, how can tutorial-based content serve you? Easily, tutorial-based content always has the end user in mind as the nature of this content is to teach others a new skill, provide new ideas, etc. However, while you are helping people, this sort of content serves an indirect purpose. People will begin to see you as a valid authority in your profession, especially if you can do these two things. The first is break down the complexities of design and coding. The second thing is make the viewer feel smarter by the end of the video. Now, notice that I used the word feel in that last statement. There is a reason for this. When you can achieve having a viewer become emotionally invested to the content that you're producing, you will win easily everything else when it's time to promote a product, service, course, and more. To appeal to the emotions is the fastest way to gain trust and authority with the visitor. Now, this may be obvious for noobs slash beginners, but what about employers? Well, to be honest with you, this works the same way with employers as well. Joe from Coding Phase has mentioned several times that he gets offers all the time from startups and people who are in dire need of someone advanced in the field. If employers can see the actual accomplishments you achieve on YouTube through the type of content you're producing and how you are attracting traffic, managing it, this will raise your market value exponentially. Other types of content you can do is news content, speaking on the state of tech, the tech culture, or simply document your process. Even if you are new to YouTube, if you start exposing your wins and losses, your growth pains consistently to the outside world, you will win the hearts and minds of many people, including business owners who may not be able to afford a seasoned vet, but they're still looking for someone who is hungry, willing to learn, and serious about their craft. The best way to document your coding and design process is to use screen recording software that's inexpensive and provides the best results. For me personally, I use Screencast-O-Matic. Screen recording is an invaluable tool for a programmer, content creator, teacher, and many professions. When I need to record GIF and YouTube video clips, document my coding process, and develop tutorials for my students, or do play-by-play -play commentary, I use Screencast-O-Matic. For $18 a year, you can take advantage of using Screencast-O-Matic's many features from their simple yet deep video editor to storing your videos on their server and retrieve them with the utmost of ease. Let your thoughts and expertise be heard over the best content for your audience with Screencast-O-Matic today, right now. When you can properly document your process explaining to people your success and struggles and trying to achieve an end result, you'd be surprised how people are more than willing to chime in and volunteer and help. Criticism is an obvious given, but you have to take the bad in order to win with the good. Though your focus may be on the technical aspects such as showing your code and what you are building, do not ignore the power of soft skills that you acquire from having a channel. Having a YouTube channel has helped me to improve several things. My own camera presence, my public speaking ability, and probably most important, being able to simplify complex ideas, getting straight to the point on any message I desire to deliver. I am known for being a rambler, especially if I haven't taken time to flesh out what I am trying to say. 
If you're anything like me, then YouTube is a great cure for this disease. Even if you are not trying to be in front of the camera, you can write an entire script and do dynamic reading, which is reading with emotional intensity and a conversational tone. Record your vocals and add images, video clips that are appropriate to the things you were saying. This makes producing content even easier if being in front of the camera is daunting for you. If your focus is not on getting a career but doing your own thing, then YouTube is an even better choice for you. However, my advice is not to focus on using YouTube to become a personality or celebrity, but as a lead generation tool, leveraging a platform to secure your own audience by building an email list or connect them to your own platform. Me personally, I'm structuring my website from a service-based site to a content-rich product site. In the future, I will be building the email list structuring campaigns that surround the content on my personal site, as well as relevant products being offered to my private audience. Now, you can play the YouTube game by referring people to subscribe to your channel and hitting that bell notification, but I would suggest putting out videos that also directs your viewers to your email list, emphasizing building your brand even further. Focus on converting those viewers to a list that you can control. With YouTube's constant algorithm changes, sketchy censorship implementations, and AdSense controversy, you want to start to build an audience that is in your hands. Overall, whatever your goals are, things that you gain from YouTube are video editing skills, and if you're editing your own videos, camera presence, public speaking, social confidence, which is an indirect co correlation, and more in addition to what you are gaining from burning the midnight oil producing JavaScript, jQuery, HTML, CSS, web graphic design skills, Adobe, etc. If nothing else, you appear to be extremely ambitious and that is a diamond in a rough in itself. Here are the next actions you're going to take after watching this previous video. You're going to either watch this video here or watch this video here, but before you do that, I highly highly encouraged in the comment section below to leave me some suggestions for the next video I produced. And I also leave your feedback commentary on what you thought about this YouTube one-on-one for web designers and developers. I love to hear back from you guys and I will see y'all in the next video. God bless y'all.